Hey, what's going on, dudes? So you see that Weedle Boy just joined right there in the uh, the chat. And if you don't know, he's actually a bad man client developer. So he actually developed uh, or helped develop the client that I am using at the moment. So before anything happens, you can notice that there is a message above my hotbar saying 32Ks are banned. Now with this information, you can see how it just immediately teleports to me and it starts popping other people's totems as well. That I can assume that he was probably using a 32K. But it gets deeper than this, boys. My first initial reaction is right here is to ban him, but I quickly, you know, I quickly bail on that and instead I go ahead and do something within UAC called a punish. Now in my anti-cheat, what punish does is it clears their inventory, their e-chest, and gives them a warning. What I mean by it gets deeper than that is my admin at the time starts saying in the chat later on that he's actually using a exploit called the Iron Fist. Theoretically, how I think this would work, since I do have a bit of Minecraft knowledge myself, is it would be modifying the default stats of his player, you know, as far as that that data goes, what his fit, how much damage his fist does, which theoretically is possible, but I later debunk this while watching this over, because if that would were to be the case, then I'm gonna roll back to this, you know, back later back in this clip where he has something in his hand, but he's still popping people's totems instantaneously. So what's wrong with this is that if you go to if you have an item in your hand, like a sword, or it could be also food, it doesn't matter. It's going, it's going, You're going to do the damage of that item stats, and it's not going to, it's no longer going to go off the damage that your fist does. This quickly debunks the theory that he has a exploit for himself. At the time, we never came to the conclusion that he was probably using strength due to the CBE exploit and just kind of really well covered it up. So at the time we kind of just rolled with it. He is most likely using strength. Because as you see, he has those particles coming out from him as well. I decided to put this into the episode because this is a really interesting case. This is back in seven, uh, season 10. He did, he did end up getting away with it because we kind of didn't really know what to do about it. We, want, we wanted to be as fair as possible. Either way, very interesting way to uh, start the episode. Uh, so we have a report of a player that is name spoofing. There he is right there. His name is God, but if we click on him, his name is actually Master Alt. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> it wouldn't matter if he's not actually hacking or if he's just closet hacking or what have you. His... But the thing is, to actually name spoof, you require toolbox. So he's still using toolbox on the realm. And he is effectively banned from the realm. So I just logged out. Oh wow, that's a interesting bug. Okay, cool. So I just logged on. This guy's name is Phantom Frenzy. Well, we click on his name. It's actually Rainbow Robot. Uh. So I'm what I'm gathering from this is that he's most likely using a client to spoof his name. I'm going ahead and ban. Uh, Fanti Phantom Frenzy. Uh, for the simple fact, he's probably using a third-party client to spoof his name. So this guy right here named I'm Snag is uh, supposedly going, you know, stealing and uh, griefing bases within 10k, which isn't allowed. There is a 10k limit basically like a, a 10k by 10k protection area of when people are allowed to grief or steal or kill players. Oh, see, he's looking straight at me. Now, I'm actually invisible right now. So let's see if he looks straight at me again. Because it could also mean that uh, he's on mobile. Or using a hat client. He could have been looking at the phantoms. Which is a good possibility. So I'll stay like right behind here. See if he glances straight at me again. 
Uh, I think he's cheating. Oh no. He's using kill order. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but he's actually using kill order on me. That's not me hitting. That's his kill order. So if we back away from him. And as soon as we're not away from him, it stops. So he's probably within kill order range. He also did a really funky jump right there. That's a weird, that's a weird one. Oh, oh, there he goes. Look at him. Oh, he made it, he made it very easy for me. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and band that guy. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or I'll be falling to be last Either you can come and save me or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.